In this video, I'll show you the process of making the trailer for our latest animated short film, Tasteful. If you haven't already, you probably should watch the trailer before watching this video. It's only about 40 seconds long. And get back here when you're done. When I decided to tackle making the trailer for Tasteful, the first thing I did was ask our composer for trailer music and music track for me to base the trailer on. It's not the most common approach for trailer making, but I didn't want to plan the way the trailer looks in advance, but instead let our composer create something cool that goes with the musical theme of the film, and then while listening to it, I would visualize what the trailer would look like. I was aiming for a 30 seconds trailer, as anything more than that would be a bit funny for a three minute short. So these were the restrictions I gave the composer. Make it 30 seconds, use the main musical theme of the movie, and make it powerful and energetic but with a funny vibe, as opposed to one of those over-dramatic trailers. And he delivered on the first try. I listened to it and I could immediately imagine what the trailer would look like. I then slapped the track on a premiere timeline and got to editing. The first big decision I had to make is whether or not to include the from the creators of shtick a lot of trailers have. I decided to go for it in case people who watched our other films ran into the trailer. Plus, I thought it helps brand perception. Now that we have a couple of films under our belt, why not push it and make it feel like a trailer for a real movie? But since this is a very short trailer, I couldn't cover them for too long. My first editing challenge was how to show our previous two films as quickly as possible so that they don't take up a lot of the trailer, but also make sure people can still read the title and understand what's going on. I tried a bunch of timing options and showed it to people to make sure it's on for enough time to read it, but not a second longer. I then overlaid a bunch of light leaks on top of the title transitions to make them more interesting, and then cut to the film footage. I tried using as many impact shots from the film as I could, but ones that don't spoil anything from the story. Luckily, there were a ton of moments in the film where things hit something. I timed the action hits with the musical hits and made sure I go back and forth between the two main characters. I also made sure the moments I show escalate over time in the trailer, starting with rather mild hits, going all the way to food flying around, hitting characters in the face. And then I ended with the name title as well as the release date, with a bunch more light leaks overlaying the transitions. One of the few things to keep in mind to make your trailer not look amateurish is picking good fonts for your titles. Bad typography is always a thing that gives away amateurs, because it's not easy to pair fonts together well. That's why I always try to Google some good font combinations for inspiration. And using a combination of bold and very thin fonts often works well. That's what I did. You also want to keep the titles moving, slowly scaling, and make sure they don't stay on for too long. Beginners have a tendency to edit really slow, giving a lot of time to each shot. And that comes from lack of experience and confidence, being worried that the audience won't have enough time to read or watch whatever it is you're showing. Give them more credit. Cut fast, end title shots as soon as you can, even sooner than you think. And that tip goes for the rest of the trailer edit as well. Make sure you cut really fast from one shot to another. Don't worry about people understanding everything that happens in each shot, but instead think of it as trying to convey the feeling of the whole film. In our case, it was very chaotic, and you can't really keep track of what happens, but that's okay. The film is about this crazy war between two food vendors, and it gets really messy. So that's what I wanted people to feel when they watch the trailer. A lot of food flying around, a lot of reactions, stuff like that. So that's about it. If you have any more questions about making the trailer, please write them down in the comments. What did you think about it? Would you have done things differently? Let me know. Thanks for watching.